Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palanepan Manikam. Mm. We had Dr. Barucha on the show before and then I received like a lot of positive comments about please bring him back again. So we brought him back again for you guys. Uh, welcome back Dr. Barucha. Thank you so much and it's such a pleasure to be back. The first question is, you know, um, given the increasing COVID surge in India, everybody we have been like begging and pleading to wear mask. And even my mom is telling me that I will not wear this mask. I don't believe in all those things. So he's, she's not believing me. I thought I'll bring an expert. Why don't you tell the audience why we should wear a mask? She's not believing you because, you know, there is a famous saying, Ghar ki murgi dal barabar. So you are, you are a doctor in the family. They won't listen to you. Having said that, let's go back to, because this is rapid fire, only have five, more, five minutes, right? So if you see the WhatsApp, they say, stay away from men. Uh, which is mouth, eyes, and nose. And therefore, most important thing is that you do not wash your hands. Now, coming back to the coming back to the mask, how does the mask protect us or why you should wear a mask? As we said that, it is mainly the way you get COVID infection is that you inhale or you come in contact with the respiratory droplets. So the goal should be to stay away from the respiratory droplets. And the only way you can do that would be by covering your face with the face mask. Again, in India, um, they have been using the cloth mask, but studies show that the cloth mask they, their pores are not small enough. And so your, your protection against COVID virus or any other small respiratory droplets would be less than 3%. Uh, and I think that was one of the reasons. Number one, we are not wearing a mask. And number two, we are wearing a mask, but that is made from cloth. And so it does not really help. There you go. The, the guy is coughing and you see with so much of force, so many particles are expelled. So if you are very close to this gentleman, um, and I would say as close as six feet or less, then you will be bombarded with all these virus particles. And so if you're not wearing a mask, guess what? You are taking it with you on so your face. Here, so from here to here, we yes. are estimating an approximate distance of six feet. So it is not six feet for sure. Yes. So actually, there are some other articles and videos that show that within one second, the very first time you sneeze, the major particles will reach three feet distance in less than one second. By the end of second, second, it reaches six feet. By the end of fourth second, it actually crosses between nine to 12 feet. So technically you should have a distance of 12 feet, but again, the particle amount decreases and then it's going to be crazy to have a 12 foot distance between you and the second person. So right. therefore we say that the maximum distance uh, you know, to be to be reasonable is six feet. Yes, within six feet, if you're less than six feet closer to another person who is sneezing, then you are going to get all these particles that they're going to give it to you for free. If you're really cautious, you need to maintain at least a 12 feet distance. Yes, that is exactly correct. So the first video is a fast thing. It's a fast thing. And therefore it goes away very quickly. Now you now you slow Second it down video. to see, look at the particles and the amount and the speed with which you expel this particle. So if you are infected with COVID virus, and this is what you will do as soon as you sneeze. So sneezing is not benign. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Same thing with coughing. The coughing also, you are expelling all these viral particles with a lot of pressure generated by your lungs and the diaphragm and you spell it out. Um, so we say that don't, don't cough in your hands. Uh, usually you should cough in your elbow. The reason to do that would be that if it is in the hands, as we said, that then if you do not wash it, it is still on your hands and you can cover your, you can touch your face, including eyes or nose and the mouth, and then the mucous membrane will get infected with it. And then you'll, you'll become sick. The reason to do it in the elbow is that I have not seen anybody who is going to, who is going to be having fun touching their face with the elbow. But again, not, it is very... <laughs> you're not seeing me. Okay, that's fine. Therefore, as a, as, you, as a precaution, you should wear a mask because if you wear a mask, then you are not going to expel all those out to other people around you. So let's see a video of the cough. So this gentleman, the way he's coughing, this is a slow motion video and you see the amount of particles. He's actually coughing only for about one to two seconds, but look at the amount of particles he's generating. It is mm -hmm. insane. This is like a, This is like smoke. If you, if you think about it from, from an exhaust in your car, which is not well maintained. 
So, so much of particles now, these are all, if you see, they are still floating in the air, right? They have not gone down. They have not dropped down on the floor. If you were, if you were throwing up and think about this, if you are throwing up, the vomit is not going to be hanging out in the air. It's going to be on the floor, but these particles are going to hang out in the air. And then it will, with the air, it actually then keeps on moving forward and it hangs out in there because it's very light. It's very tiny. It's, it's not heavy. So therefore the risk with cough is even higher. See, that's why they say, you know, the risk of transmission is extremely high in an indoor setting. That is exactly correct. An outdoor setting. And at least in an outdoor setting with a fresh circulation of fresh air, um, the particles are not getting clogged for a long time. Correct. Okay. Sounds good. And then, um, so we talked about sneezing, coughing. How about regular talking? You know, that's the main Oh, problem, that right? is very good. Regular talking. People think that, you know, regular talking is very simple and that we talk very politely. We'll talk very soft. We don't, we don't spit while we talk. There are some people who will spit, you know, but it does not matter how you talk. Let's look at the third video. We'll record without a mask in three different styles of talking. The middle one, the middle green, is actually where the laser is pointing. This is without mask. Now I'm recording. Stay healthy. So you saw all those green particles like fireworks? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stay okay. Healthy. That was another one. Great. That's loud. Stay healthy. Let's pause it. So this guy said in three different ways, very loudly, stay healthy, a medium tone and a very soft tone. Despite which you saw the amount of green laser particles that floated out. So this is with the mask. This is with the mask. And now you will see that when the guy talks, barely you can see anything green floating. Stay healthy. Louder. You saw that. Stay healthy. You Louder. see that? Stay healthy. Look at that. Did you? There was nothing floating. There were no green signals flying. I mean, this is so amazing. I mean, this is beautifully captured video. Mm. So if it was your patient or let's say if it was your family member back home in India, what will be your recommendation right now in terms of wearing a mask? But what kind of mask? Is it like double masking, surgical mask, N95 mask? Please comment on that. So I would say that instead of buying gold and buying remdesivir, <laughs> invest money in buying a, 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 a reasonable, you know, amount of surgical mask. Surgical masks usually have either one layer or three layers in between them um, with, with the ear loops. They work very well as long as you can seal them uh, around your nose so that there is a good seal. Um, if you want, you can cover them with a cloth mask since you guys have wasted so much money in the cloth mask and made them uh, very fancy. So double masking is also fine, but at least one of them have to be surgical mask. And I would say double mask is very important. Having said that, if you wear a double mask, then you will have to be very good in making sure there are no leaks because when you when you have double mass there are chances that you will not put the second one properly and then there will be a lot of leaks in between the mask right so summarizing is please spend some money to get the surgical mask and yes. even on the top of a surgical mask it is better to wear a one more cloth mask if possible correct you don't yes. necessarily have to use the n95 because people are trying to make a lot of money with the n95 mask exactly. as well. you don't necessarily have to do that and summarizing this, you must you must have seen how a droplets are spreading either through talking, coughing, and sneezing. If we need to come out of this pandemic, we need to use this mask properly. Yes. See you in the next video. And then avoid men, M E N, mouth, eyes, and nose. They have mucous membranes through which COVID will enter your body. Mouth, eyes, and nose, avoid men, but please do not avoid Dr. <laughs> Barucha. <laughs> I will bring back Dr. Barucha again for a second Thank topic you. pretty soon. Thank you. Um.